that has been mowed and then the tortoises are getting to it versus this i mean just look, look at the difference guys what's going on guys welcome to another episode of primitive predators uh kyle today we're uh back in the tortoise greenhouse huh back in the tortoise greenhouse doing an update well before we get into the update we were going to show you guys the new ponds however down here in south florida the weather is not cooperating with us at all it's super cloudy and windy outside we are going to show you the whole new croc facility as soon as the weather clears up we're ready to show it to you guys uh it's going to be pretty exciting but for right now let's give you an update of how these tortoises are doing in the new greenhouse i mean how are these guys doing Kyle? they are doing really good the problem is is this greenhouse well it's not a problem but this greenhouse is set up to essentially optimize growing for plants and as you can see it definitely optimizes the growing of the uh the grass. the grass holy cow so from what i'm told is essentially you know usually grass slows down the heat of the day whereas this obviously is is shaded so it just grows and grows and grows and grows and grows so, so I mean, needless this, to say the tortoises aren't keeping up it's i think it's impossible so <laughs> this is uh i mowed this last week and i cut it down to probably maybe i don't know two inches and now look at it, it's probably a foot <laughs> it's probably a foot um this one uh is insanely long and you mowed this less than two weeks ago yeah and like look at all right so that's hey, a about a 30 pound sulcata yeah that's and funny. that grass is easily a foot foot and a half over the top of it yes well actually look you can see here i didn't mow that one i mowed this one oh, okay. so you can see you can see where i was like oh, let's do an experiment so i cut here this is where i cut about two weeks ago and then that was original so i mean it just sprouts up so quickly um, so I don't know if you guys have ever heard me say about robotic lawnmowers, but this is a perfect candidate for the robotic lawnmowers. And what's the robotic lawnmower? Cause I know people are gonna have questions. It's essentially like a Roomba. It's they're made by Husqvarna, um, or steel. So what they are is just essentially a, a little robot mower that you press a button, it'll mow this whole thing. So I'm going to have it to where it'll just mow you know, twice a week or, you know, every day even just go through and, and mow it. And right. they have little tiny blades Look, underneath the mower. Look, that pond's hidden. What? The pond's hidden. The pond's hidden, yeah. You can barely see it. So they have little blades under the mower? Yep. So, and it's just like a Roomba. So if it goes up to a tortoise, it bounces off of it. It'll just bounce with the bumpers and back off. And it'll never cut a tortoise. It's impossible for, it'll shut down if it flips over. Now I mowed this two weeks ago and they're doing a pretty good job. Oh, they're I mean, keeping they're, up on they're it. They're definitely starting to like keep up on it. Um, but still, you can see it's it's long. Oh, uh, uh, he thinks he's about to get some food. What I noticed too, guys, <laughs> is when we put him in here, the grass was already pretty long. And what happened was is the grass was already over their heads, so they were kind of like, whoa, 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 they're weird about walking around. It's amazing, right when I mowed this, they were all over the place. So that's why, another reason why I want to have that robotic mower mow every day, just to keep it down. Look at this little saccata. Okay. I think he wants some fruit. Look at him, guys. He's running over. That's uh, that's nature's maid Roomba. Yeah, and look at look at all the grass hanging out of his mouth. He's been eating probably all freaking day long, but he's like, oh, well, you got any watermelon? <laughs> How about some cantaloupe? Here, guys. I don't know if you can see the grass growing out, but let's get a little closer. The between the two. So you can see, maybe now, all that grass hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, he's been eating. And yeah, the difference between this enclosure that has been mowed and then the tortoises are getting to it versus this, I mean, just look, look at the difference, guys. Tortoises eating, mowed, not. not. Like, look at how much, I mean, the, the hut's almost covered in grass. So yeah. Kyle, you definitely need to get in here and uh, mow a little bit, huh? Yeah, I do. Cause it's, it's past the point of uh, making it nice the first cut, so. I'm gonna have to come in here and uh, cut a lot. Now also too guys, I use an electric uh, weed whacker right now. So there's no gas, there's no oils, there's nothing like that that can get into the tortoise, in, into the grass that the tortoise can ingest. And then we have the Burmese blacks over here. Oh, Jack, I guess fed though. Oh, so they got some greens in there, but here's one of the red foots. So there's the red foot that was in the enclosure. They're doing good. And you got Burmese blacks. Red foot there. Oh, it's funny too, guys. Oh, yeah. You can see right by the houses. They, they come out of the house. They'll 
eat a lot of grass around there and then look for it. Yeah, you can see, based on the length of grass, you can see their habits. So yeah, they've just been hanging all throughout here and then branching off and going. You can actually see, yeah, right down the, the walkway. I don't know if we'll pick it up on camera, but right by the wall, there's a little path carved out. And then the Burmese blacks are here with one of them hanging right there. And the Burmese blacks are one of the cool ones because uh, Kyle actually built a, a deeper pond for them to kind of swim across. We saw when we released them that a few of them just swam right over the top and they're using it. I mean, check this out. They're just hanging out in there. They love it. Yeah, I mean, they are loving these new enclosures. Here's, this is Crush's enclosure, the last one. Uh, grass is still a little tall around the mountain or the little mound you build. You can kind of see where he kind of goes across, but how's Crush doing over there? Good. You can see his method is just to mow the grass down. He's definitely been sitting Not here. Eating with, just plowing it down. So yeah, he's just hanging out by his little house. Uh, let's see. I haven't seen him in it yet, but I'm sure once the winter comes, it's just, it's getting warm right now, this time of year. So he hasn't been in there much, but uh, you can see he's definitely mowed over here and then heads all the way to the pond and he mows right to the pond. Wow, yeah, he's really mowed all that down. Yeah. So it's funny, you can see they're all their little habits. And he's doing good, he's, he's just oh, yeah. chilling. Yeah, he's just hanging out. Uh, he's, he's also... What, what happened? Picking up the cat palm. Oh no. Well, speaking of which, let's go talk about that. Because this guy has definitely mowed them down a little bit. I mean, he actually ran this one over. I'm amazed it's actually back up. Like he, this one, he completely flattened and somehow it came back. So, I mean, that's why they're, they're, these plants, palm trees in general are great for hurricanes. You know, they can just come right back to life. But these guys, these guys were hammering those cat palms the day we put them in here. So how did you combat that? So you see the bamboo on the uh, the houses? We yeah. had extra. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy coming. Okay. He's gonna come for a swim. Watch, watch below you. Look below you. <laughs> He's trying to eat the pole. Yeah. So I'm filming, and this guy he wants he wants to eat the pole that I got the camera on. And this is what it's all about for me, guys. Just seeing these animals do what they're meant to do in the wild. And, and like I was talking about the weather, it's, it's raining. Wild. Yeah. So whenever it rains in here, guys, it is like amplified times 10 with the greenhouse. I don't know why, but it is bad. So right now, that's honestly just a small shower. When it's pouring, it's practically deafening. But like I was saying before, we had extra bamboo. So we wrapped it around the uh, cat palms, and now they can't bother them. So that, again, they're more they're a desert species, but hey, they'll take a sponge bath every once in a while. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, we did come out with merchandise. Uh, came out with some super cool designs, so go check that out. I'll put the link below. Um, I really like our new logo, so let us know what you think of that, and then we will see you on the next episode. See you guys.